Good morning. How are you today? Today we will are talking about graphing an exponential function. We learned how can we graph an exponential function. Before we start, as I told you before, that if we have or the function of the exponential function, it will be a times b and then b raised to the power x. This is an exponential function. Now, for this type of function, I want now today to talk about how can I graph it. Look at here, here we have a and here we have b. Before we start, let's talk how the basic shape will be for a. Here, he told you that if a is greater than one and also b is greater than one, so the basic shape will be like this. Here. If a is greater than b, a greater than zero, and I mean that a is positive, and b is greater than one, like as an example, if you take say two, two, like two times uh, three, as an example, raised to the power x for this one here like 2 times 3 raised to the power x. Look at here, 2 is greater than 0, 2 is positive, and 3 is greater than 1. If both of them are a greater than 0 and a greater than 1, this will be the basic shape. It will be like this. The second thing here now, if greater is then, the, yes, it's greater than 0. For this one here, like if you say 2 times negative uh, 3 raised to the power x. Or like 2 times half raised to x. Or 2 times like um, negative 1 over 3 to the power x. For these, all of these functions, The function or the basic function to be like this. Here, a is greater than zero. Here, it's greater than zero. Greater than zero, greater than zero. But b now, it's not greater than one like in the previous shape. No. Here, it is less than one. Look here, negative three. It's less than one. One half, it's less than one. Negative third, it's less than one. So, Negative third, sorry. So the basic shape, I will draw it, it will be like this. Now look at the third. Is that here? For the third one now, if a now is less than zero, in the previous one, in this one and this one, as you see from here, both of a are greater than zero. But here, if a is less than zero, Okay, and b now, it will be greater than 1. How the function will be, the graph will look like this, as an example. Like uh, negative 3 times um, 4 raised to x. Or negative 1 times 3 raised to x. This the function will be, it will be like, like this one here. For the last one here, if a is less than 0 and b is less than 1, such as negative 3, negative 2 raised to power x. Both of them now are less than 0 
and this line one, the graph look like this. So, here we have two cases. If A is greater than zero, if A is greater than zero, B, it could be greater than one, and the graph will look like this, and B, it could be less than one, and the graph will look like here. For the second state now, here, if we have now A is less than zero. For A is this here, so here I'm talking about A is greater than zero, and here if A is less than zero. If A is less than zero, B it could be greater than one, and the graph will look like this, and B is less than one, and the graph will be like this. This is if I'm talking about now the basic here I'm talking about the basic shape of the exponential function. Now, let's do now problem number three, graphing and exponential function. What is the graph of y equal three times two raised to the power x? So here we have y equal three raised to 2 to the power x. Both of A is greater than 1 and B is greater than, or A, so sorry, A is greater than 0, it is a positive value, and B is greater than 1, so the log, the graph, the basic shape will be look like this. Now let's now graph it. The first step, let's now put a values for x. Any values I want, like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. These are values I want. I choose them to graph my function now. If I have x, I can't find y. From where? From the y equal from my function, from my exponential function. Let's start now. For the first one, it's three times negative two raised, oh sorry, positive two raised the negative two. Instead of x here, I want to put or evaluate a substitute negative two. Then you I will simplify. It's a three times Two raised to the power two. The first step I will write it's a reciprocal, then the opposite of negative two, which is positive two. So the answer is three over four, or we can say it is point seven five. So here the answer is point seven five. Let's do now negative one. Three times two raised to the power negative one. Now it's a three times here we have a negative exponents so i will write now the opposite or the reciprocal of two which is one over two and the opposite of negative one which is one so it will be three times one is three over two the answer is one and a half you can say 1.5 now for let's choose now zero three Times. So this is my function, and just evaluate each value of x here. So 3 times 2, but now raised to the power 0. It's 3 times 1, which is 3. 4 times 1, if x now is 1, like 3 times 2 raised to the power 1. 3 times 2, 2 raised to the power 1 is 2, multiplied by 3 is 6. And the last one here, 3 times 2 raised to 2, 2 times 2 is 4, uh, 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. And the new value is now is 12. So these are now the values of x and y. I just choose any values from x, and then I find the values of y from the my exponential function. 
Now, it's the graph right here. If x is negative 2, y is 0.75. Here now, if we have 2, here it will be 1. 0.75, it will be near here. At negative 2, so the first point approximately will be here. This is now for the first point. For the second one, at point negative 1, the value is 1.5. So here we have negative 1. Here now we have negative 1, as you see. Here we have 1.5, so it will be here, and sorry, the previous one, it will be here. Now, for the third value, it was 0 and uh, 3. 0 and 3, so it will be here. The fourth one, 1 and 6, 1, here is 1, and 6 it will be here, and the last one, it was 2 and 12, it will be up, I cannot see. Then after that, after now, we plot the points, it's now, Connect. So we have a point here. It must be. Connect now and graphing them. This one for the function. Now, if you look back here, as I told you, as you see from here, here now the exponent, the graph, as I told you, because a is greater than zero and b is greater than one, I told you that the basic shape it will be like this. And as I said here, but because here it's a handwriting, I will try to to make it and the graph will be like this. This is for three times two raised to x. Now, let's graph this function. y equal four raised to x. Now, from here, one of you asked me, teachers, you told me to have a times b raised to x. Where's a here? Here we have only b raised to x. Yes, there's a. a here is equal to one because it's like one times four raised to x. This is the function will be. And this is one, I can write it or no. And this is greater than zero. So the, before we start, if a is greater than zero, which is one, and b is greater than one, so the graph will be look like this. Let's see. So one times four to the power x. So the, the first step, as I told you before, Let's put uh, values for x and then find the values of y. x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And for y, 4 times, or 4 raised to the power negative 2, it's like this. I just evaluate x instead of 4 raised to the power x. So it's mean 1 over 4 squared, well, that's mean 1 over 16. For the negative 1, will be the reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4 raised to 4, so it is 1 over 4. 4 raised to 0 is 1. 4 raised to 1 is 4. And 4 raised to 2 is now 16. So now, at negative 2, here we have 5. So here is negative 2. At negative 2, it is 1 over 16. And approximately, it will be here. By the way, the exponential function will not touch the x values. Why? Because there's no value of x if I raised to 
uh, or number of arrays to a value of x, I get zero. As I told you in the previous lesson, the answer, there's no zero raised to zero. And the, the y or the value of y, it cannot be zero. So here, this is now the first number. It will be approximately here. For negative 1, negative 1, it will be 1 over 4. It will be here also. Or at 0, it is 1. At 1, it is 4. And at 2, it will be 16. So now, after that, this will be now my function. As I said here before, that this will be the new base, the basic of the function. This is for y equal 4 raised to x. We have now y, but now negative 4 raised to x. Now, negative 4 raised to the power x. This one. Some of you told me that it could be 1 times negative 4 raised to x. Someone told me it's like this. And the other because it's like negative 1 times 4 raised to x. Sorry. Here, for this one here, y equal negative 4 raised to x, it is negative 1 times 4 raised to x. It's not negative 4 raised to x. If you remember at the first lesson, when I told you that if you have negative 4 raised to x, it's different than negative 4 raised to x because here that's mean negative 4, all of them, all of it, sorry, is raised to number 2. And negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 is 16. But here down, it's negative 16 because the negative here is outside. There are power only to 4. Here also, we have the same. It is negative 1 times 4 raised to x. It's different than if I told you it will be different than if I told you it is like negative 4 raised to x. For this one, I will say here it is 1 times negative 4. So the b now is less than one and when b is less than one the graph b is less than one the graph will be like this but here b uh, sorry a is less than zero because it was negative one the graph it was negative one times four raised to x so the function will be like this here So far, so far now, x and y, for x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Negative 2. So I say negative 1 times 4 raised to negative 2. Look at here. It's like this one, which is 1 over 16, multiplied by negative. So the answer is, it's like negative 1 times reciprocal is 4, uh, one over, uh, 4 is 1 over 4, 2 squared, so it will be negative 1 over 16. So I found before 4 raised to x, which is 1 over 16, but negative 4 raised to x, just put a negative sign. So negative 1 over 16, negative 1 over 4, here, negative 4 raised uh, 
raised to zero. Four out of the power zero is one. One multiplied by negative one is negative one. Negative four and negative six. These are now the values of the function y equal negative four raised to x. Then after that, let's now graph it. Negative two, negative one over 16. Negative one, it will be negative one over four, it will be down. Then zero, it will be negative one. One, it will be, uh, for one, it will be negative. Four, and for two, it will be negative 16. Then after that, let's now connect between the points. So it will be, it will be not like this. It will be like this. Now will be the graph. Now, so as I told you, if we have negative one times four raised to x, what does it mean? Does it mean it's negative? Oh, I'm sorry. If you have negative four raised to x, what does it mean? It's, that's mean it's negative one four raised to x. So for this one here, a is less than zero and b is greater than one. So the basic shape for a is less than zero and b is greater than one is like this. Like this. No, no, sorry, like this. Sorry. If a is less than zero, which is negative one times four, so the graph will be like this here. As you see here. Like this the graph. Now, the last thing here, I want you to know it, that if, you have, if I ask you now uh, to solve each equation, 2 raised to x is equal 64. This type of exponential expression, 2, or exponential function, sorry, equal to 64, I want to find x. Look at me how. Here, what is the base? The base is two. So, if I hear, if I want to find the value of x, the two bases in right, like here you have a balance as an example. The two bases, it will be two. It must be two. So I will put here also two. Then after that, Here it is 2 raised to x. It's easy. But the second one, it is 64. I will ask myself, what is the number that if I raised to 64, it will be a to, to, uh, to 2, sorry. I will repeat, what is the number? If it's raised to 2, I will get 64. We'll go, you have to go to the previous table that I give it to you before. Like 2 raised to 2 is 4, 2 raised to 3 is multi just multiplying by 2. Just multiplying by 2 is 16. Multiplying by 2 will get 32, which is 2 to the power 5. Multiplying by 2 will get 64, which is 2 raised to the power 6. So, huh, I found that 64 is 2 raised to a 6. So, x. So after that, if we have the same basis, so just say x equals 6.
This is done for the first one. Now, let's do number, this is for number 51. Now for number 53. Here we have 3 times 2 raised to x which is equal to 24. For this one here, I told you that it must we must have the same basis in each term. But here we have two, the base, but we have a three. So I will want to remove three. By what? I divide by three. Divide by three. Then it will be two raised to x is equal. 24 over three is eight. And after that, it comes like this one. I say it's two raised to x and the eight from here it is 2 raised to 3, then we have the same basis, yes, so x equal 3. This was our lesson today, thank you for listening.